A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord Guide our feet into the way of peace. Like its parable, the Magnificat, Zechariah's prayer of blessing, Benedictus, proclaims what God the Lord has done for His people Israel. It is a summary of God's saving interventions toward Israel, culminating in the giving of a mighty Savior born of the house of His servant, David. In this, Saving intervention, Zechariah's son, John the Baptist, plays an important role. He prepares the hearts of the people of Israel for the coming of the long-before Messiah. What a proud father Zechariah must be! His life is dedicated totally in the service of God. Are we fathers guiding our children into the way of service and peace?